Hey guys, that up here. Today we're checking out the TT10 from Through Night. It is Odark30 and we are outside. We have our TT10 here on its Firefly mode. If I reach out as far as I can with this little information sheet, shine the light on it from back where the camera is, you can see that it lights up just enough to be able to read that or to look on the ground and make sure you're not going to trip over something. From there, we are going to go to our low setting. And low gives us 28 lumens. That gives us a few yards worth of visual. See the railing for the deck. Grass there a little bit. Even hits off of the pump house. Let's go to our medium now. Now we get some light. That is 300 lumens. We can see the pump house. We can see the edge of the grass there. And I think that we can make out the end of the fence line a little bit. And that is 150 feet away. Now we will put on our high. So we have to hold the button down again go through low, medium, and now high, and now we can see it all. See the whole yard, pump house lights up nice and bright, end of the fence line, even the trees across the street there, we can see them, and that is 200 feet away. Now if we give it a quick double click, we will jump up to 3,700 lumens, and that is enough to see everything without even having to move the flashlight at all. This light does get a little warm at that temperature. And it'll stay that high for about two minutes before it kicks down to 1100 lumens. All right, let's give it a quick throw test. Try to hit those trees there as high as we can. See if we can get it to bounce off and land on the ground with it still being lit. And we will do one more for fun. Shoot for the stars way up there. Or over there. Inside the box, you'll receive the flashlight itself, a carrying case, USB charger, thank you card, some O-rings and a lanyard, and the user's guide. The operation of this flashlight is pretty similar to most through nights for the most part. We have a power button right here. If we hold it down for a couple seconds, we will kick on Firefly Mode. Firefly Mode will last for 57 days at half a lumen. We can either go from there or turn it off. And then turn it back on and we will get to low. Low is 28 lumens and it will last there for 68 hours. If we hold down the button for a second, it will click over to medium, which is 300 lumens, and it will stay there lit for eight and a half hours. Here's the standard thing for through night. If we want to get to high, we have to click it again, go to low, medium, then high. High is 1750 lumens. That is a huge jump but it'll only last there for about three minutes and then go down to 1100 lumens and stay there for 155 minutes. For turbo, there are two ways to get there. One is to double click from anywhere and we will get to 3700 lumens for two minutes. Then it'll kick down to the 1100 lumens for an additional 150 minutes. On the back of the flashlight, we have two additional buttons. One is for strobe and one is for turbo or momentary turbo. So if we click this button here, we will get to strobe. And if we click this button here, 
we will get to turbo for a full click and momentary for a half a click. This flashlight comes with a 5,000 milliamp hour 21700 battery. We have our flat for the negative and kind of a flat for the positive. You can see it's just a little bit of a different pattern here. That's how you know it's positive. Plus it tells us positive in the red. Positive goes down into the flashlight. And get screwed all the way in. Now when you get the flashlight, it may come half unscrewed to where it will not work. Twist it all the way on and you'll get your light. To charge this battery, there is a little charging port here on the back for a micro USB. Take a micro USB, plug it into there, and on the front you will see a red light glowing. That means you're charging. When it turns blue, you're done charging. While this is a powerful little light, there are a few things that I'm not a fan of. One, as you can see here, we have the whole family of three night batteries. We have the 18650, 26650, and the new 21700. Now, in a battery charger, you can see that the 26650 fits in nice, registers, starts charging. The 18650 also fits in nicely and charges. Here is the problem that I am finding with this 21700. I can't get it into a charger. I can try kind of putting it in, just squeezing it in. It still will not fit. So the only way for me to charge this battery is with this port right here. Sometimes these ports get a little squirrely, especially with rough use, putting your uh, cord in and leaning it up against something or something like that. You kind of get a little bendy and it kind of works a little loose. So that's one thing to be cautious about. The other thing I have an issue with is the tail switch. I always kick on my flashlights by clicking that button in the back on off and it's usually the mode that I go with so it won't affect me all the time. I like full power on and this does it. But when you click this on and then you realize you know what I want a little bit lower of a light you cannot tone it down from here. You have to click this off, then turn this on, then tone it down to whatever it is you want it to be. Now from here, you can turn this on and then turn the whole thing off because the tail switch takes over control of on and off at that point. But from on in the back, you cannot push the button and have it go to a lower power. Well, that's all I have for this video. Bang around that bell icon if you want to be notified when new videos come out. Call us on the hotline if you have comments or questions and want to be featured in an upcoming video. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Check us out on the website, and we'll see you guys on the next one.